Your mic is on. <laughs> this is the green room. This is, uh, thank God have, for that. Are you listening to see if we have audio? Am I listening? I'm listening, yeah. Right, but I'm, I'm not we seeing We don't have audio, audio, so you can say anything you want. Can I? No. No. Okay. Yes, we I can't. We might have audio. Oh. Oh, well, I see us. I see. I see. Do we hear us? I hear us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, that was the green room. We'll get right into the show. Yeah. How do I do that? Was that it? Yeah. That was, you boy, that was quick. You were, late. you were getting the product. Anyway, we'll be right back. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, thank you for joining us today and welcome to episode number 26 of the 26. absolutely amazing series known as Butcher Shop Television. Uh, today is Wednesday, I forget what date, September 13th, 13th yes. 2023, and we are broadcasting live from smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. My name is Eric and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself, what did it say? The Laugh Riot Mayor of Meatville, Mr. Laugh. Luke Jacobs. Nice <laughs> to meet you, Luke. How are you? Oh, fantastic. What's new? What's exciting? What's different? Oh, NFL season is oh, here. Oh, we're going to talk about the NFL. Uh, uh, opening game was Sunday? It was, yes. That was the opening game. That was. I watched it. It was not the opening game. It was the opening game. It was the opening game. Yes. No quotes required. No quotes. No, no. air quotes required. No, no. No, uh, sir. I watched that game on Sunday, but you watched another game on Monday. I did. Are you going to play every day <laughs> for half a year? What's going on? Well, they, that would be awesome. <laughs> oh, you'd like that. That would be you? incredible, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 I don't know anything about football, really, but no. we're in Wisconsin. But you watched the so whole game. I was rooting for the Packers. Okay. And the Bears seemed relatively easy to beat. They did, I don't yes. know if they're always like that. Well, I mean, we've owned them for oh, a number of years. Oh, yes, well. yes. <laughs> so uh, not a surprise then. Correct. Not a surprise. Okay. Correct. Well, um, it was a surprise because of the new quarterback, Jordan Love. Who uh, did a great job. He did an awesome job, He put yes. the ball where people could catch it. And I said, well, That yeah, had the same that, color jersey that he had on. That's Correct. That's what he's supposed Correct. to do. Right, right. <laughs> someone someone there's very excited that the person caught it. And I said, no, no, no. It's the quarterback who put it there. Right, that's of course. I, I mean, Without yes, he did catch the ball. Right. But that's because, I mean, not that I know anything, but. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> What we're going to do this week is yes. go over, surprise, That's surprise, weekly BSTV specials, here, huh? brought to the week, local product. You have a guest, don't you? Absolutely, you have a guest. yes. I will cover special days coming up. We'll Please. have a winner of last week's contest. Are we going to do another contest this week? Yes. For anyone who may not know, let me tell you where we are. We are at Jacob's Meat Market in beautiful, almost downtown Appleton, Wisconsin. I don't know what the address is. You don't? No. Could you help us out? Huh. <laughs> 544 North Law Street on the corner of Law and Pacific in Law beautiful Appleton. Pacific. Would yes. that be North Law? North Law and, and East, East Pacific? Pacific. Oh, correct. Law and Pacific. Yes. News. Big news. You have some big news. I wrote it down so you wouldn't forget it. Yes. It's uh, Aunt Sarah's birthday on, on Sunday. On Sunday. Happy birthday, yeah, Aunt Sarah. Yeah, happy birthday, Aunt Sarah. Who's Aunt she Sarah? She said she might have been uh, going to be stopped by. On her she, birthday? We'll be no. <laughs> no. Uh, today. Today. Yeah. Well, we're she was in here yesterday. She normally lives out in Florida. Oh, but, but she's, she's up here, up here, for, here for, yeah, for Irish Fest. Oh, I didn't put that oh, in the well, news. Oh, here, Irish right Fest down at Jones Fest. Park. Jones, when? This uh, weekend, I suppose. This weekend, this yes. Weekend. <laughs> so, uh, I think it's Saturday. Google maybe, it. Might be Google Sunday, it, yeah. He doesn't know what he's she talking about. She said she might get up on the stage and dance a jig. Well, she could do Irish that right one. here. I'll move but the she's cat. not here. She might come. She might come. Okay. This big green egg is still on my list. Here. Yes. It's a contest of yes. some kind. Uh, it ends in a couple weeks on the 30th. The 30th? That's September the 30th. Last day of the month, and it's a Saturday. It is, yes. And we're going to pull the winner on BSTV the next Tuesday, aren't we? Yeah. I think the next Wednesday, let's do oh, it. Oh, let's do it on Wednesday. Yes. Don't tell them that we're actually recording this on, on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, we'll do it on Wednesday. Yes, yes. So the big green egg contest is going on through the 30th of this month. Um, you can win the, a large, big, a medium, medium big green egg. Yeah, medium big green egg. Which yes. is pretty large. Yes, it is. <laughs> Truth it's be told. larger than the small. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, and then, uh, so that's the number one prize. Uh, the number, the second place prize is uh, brats of brats for a year, right from, here at Jacob's from Meat Jacob Market. Meat yes, Market. yes. Good. We were going to do it from the other place, but, but uh, yeah. we decided yeah. not to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and There's then a third, uh, third prize. place. Yeah, third prize is a fifty dollars Jacob's Meat Market gift card. 
I want all three of those prizes, but I probably said that last week. Every time you review them, I want them all. Yes, I want all three. Correct. Yeah, as, Don't they all? So you just buy four brats to yes. get your name and phone number in the drawing. Correct. Yep. You can buy. You can enter once a day. Correct. So if I buy twenty brats, I still only get one in. Right. But Unless I, you come back five if, days. If I come every every day and buy four, I get an entry. Oh, that yes. makes sense. That yes. makes sense. Correct. I'm going to move on to Help Wanted. Because yes. It looks like one of your positions has been filled. Yes, oh. yes, uh, I believe we've uh, hired a uh, cashier, part-time cashier. Part-time cashier, so, so you're now still looking for? A, a part-time meat counter person. Part-time meat Wednesday counter. Wednesday through Saturday. Wednesday, to work behind the meat counter. Correct. Oh, that sounds Counting like, meat. Sounds like a fun job. Actually. Yeah, it is, it is. I, uh, I have a lot of fun with it. I'm going to mention the Monday and Tuesday specials again. Yes, please do. You're doing Monday and Tuesday specials yeah. again. <laughs> you uh, said you're going to mention the Monday and, and Tuesday. Oh, I? and you did. I okay. got sidetracked because okay. someone gotcha. is standing over there with her hands on her hips. And I thought yeah. she was judging us. Did you want me to tell her to get to work or judging. what? <laughs> she was counting something. But oh, <laughs> from peripheral she's vision, not the meat counter person that we're no. looking for. Uh, last week's Monday Tuesday special, special was only Tuesday because Correct. Monday was a holiday. Labor, but yeah. this week you had Monday Tuesday special. And I found out about it because it's in... Yeah. The mailer you send out on Sundays, the which includes the, yes. the lunch menu for the week. Correct. Uh, plus, starting on Monday, it goes to your website, so you can find it there, too. Right. But I'm liking these Monday, Tuesday specials. You are. You're just giving me a reason to be here every single day of the week, oh. except Sunday, because you're closed. You're welcome. Today's Wednesday. It is. You know what that means. Yes. Brat Fry Brat Wednesday. Fry Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. Was that once a week? One. It's a, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Is that the first time I guessed what Wednesday was? Probably. I'll yes. go back and review the tapes. Yes. But today you're serving pork brats and stuffed pepper brats. Yes. That sounds like a stuffed pepper right. soup, but in a brat. But in a brat form. Take the brat out. Yeah. Take the pork out. Are you mocking me? I like it. I like it. <laughs> uh, we're going to do the specials, but first, I understand you have a really good joke. I for do, me. That, yeah. you, that you have not heard yet. You, no. You've heard the joke, but just not the punchline. I've heard the joke since yesterday. Yes. I've given it no uh, thought. Where do mice park their boats? Mice park their boats. Where do mice park their boats? <laughs> At the Hickory Dickory Dock. Very good. Yes, Very good. right. You I were laughing. I forgot the punchline <laughs> <laughs> until I remembered I, I, I hate, it. Yes. I, don't, I hate when that happens. Me too. <laughs> what do you call, Mr. Do Jacob? you have a joke? I do. Okay. What do you call a potato wearing glasses? Huh, I'm not sure. A spectator. A spectator. <laughs> getting oh, a look from June okay. now. June's over there waiting. Yeah, she is. She is. Uh, That's I a do, good one. I do want to mention the mailing list. Yes. Because people are signing up for the mailing list. They are. Apparently, they're listening to your words. So please tell us. I don't how know if they're listening or if they're just stumbling upon it. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I think, yeah. Give it a try. Give it a try. Give it a try. All right. How do you sign up for your uh, mailing list? On our, on our website, jacobsmeatmarket.com. Uh -huh. I've been there. On the right-hand side. Um, there's a little text box that you can enter your email address and then click submit. It's that easy? It's that easy, What's the yes. cost? The cost is one smile. One smile. Yes. You probably get that. We and do. You're sending two mailers a week. The yes. Sunday mailer, which includes the Monday, lunch Tuesday menu specials, yes. And the Monday, Tuesday special. And you're sending on Wednesday, which I got this morning, the weekly specials Correct. that run Wednesday through Saturday. Correct. And yes, people are signing up for that. Yes, right? they I are. I see those numbers and yes. I like them. Anyway. You've got some specials here. Yes, we I've do. I've got some buttons over here. Okay. I'm going to start some with buttons ribs. To push, huh? All right. Ribs. I don't know what kind of ribs, but uh, tell us all about We have boneless country-style pork ribs on sale for $1.99 a pound only. That's a good deal. That's a that's, great that's, deal, yes. That's like Normally three ninety nine a pound. not spending a lot of money on that, and they're boneless. Correct. They're country-style, and you're going to remind me what that means. Yeah, so it's not on, it's not on the like on a rack of ribs. Okay. It's country-style, so they're about a half-pound chunks. Half-pound chunks? Yes. But they're... Delicious. They are super delicious. All yes, right. leaner, uh, but they're the, but they're they have enough uh, white meat on them that you can put them in a slow cooker, and basically shred them when they're when they're fully cooked. And they're boneless. So slow cooker, not that. a crock pot. I, I heard that. I yeah, heard. you did. Okay. I was gonna let it. Slide, you learned, huh? <laughs> What do you mean? I wasn't gonna mention it. Because oh, okay. <laughs> because I got a correct. Because you got it right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm moving on to something called next. Rests. Yes. Next we have we, fresh. We, all natural, boneless and skinless I've got chicken breasts. Ribs and breasts. That sounds like an anatomy class, but I don't think very you close. Know where we're going. Very, yeah, right. I'm not really sure. Are there breasts. legs on there? Okay, okay. <laughs> boneless and skinless. Yes. 
sounds like you did all the work for us. Of, of course. All we have to do of is course. cook them and eat them. If we want to, cook them. Because apparently, <laughs> yeah, right. once you buy them, you can do whatever you want. That's right? correct. Three, I'm four, glad nine you're finally pound. listening. And I see them, don't I? Those are they. Depends where you're looking. I'm looking at the boats oh, and stainless yes. Spray. Yes, yeah. That's your, if you're about, looking right there, then how yes. how much would one weigh? Because they look large. Uh, they're about a pound they're about to a pound. pound and a quarter each. Yeah. Boy, that, sound, that looks very easy to prepare. That's Definitely. ready to cook. Please cook them. Please cook <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, right. They're ready to cook and right. then eat. Some people think that they're too thick. So what we do is we can... We you can, can slice them for us? Yeah, we can slice them in half, um, the long way or the short way. And then either leave them as a butterfly or cut them all the way through and so you have two pieces. If you're making like a chicken nice sandwich to know. or nice yeah, to know. because right. yes, depending on what you want to do with it, having them sliced it, it can it's be helpful. Yes. And having you do it right. is a, a bonus. One less knife for you to clean at the end of the day. I'm going to Veners. <laughs> is this an anatomy class? Anatomy class. Yeah, anatomy anatomy yes. class. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Jacob's own wieners. natural casing oh, wiener. Right yes, right. It's, right. it's me. <laughs> right. There I go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jacob's own natural casing wieners, uh, six fifty nine a pound. Delicious. They Delicious. are. Delicious. Now, I don't know how most people eat those. I keep them in the refrigerator, and when I want a snack, I grab one and some mustard, and I just eat it. You eat them cold with mustard? Absolutely. Wow. How do you cook them? I, apparently, you heat them up. I do. I do. I put them in uh, just cold water, and then I... Oh. Bring them to a boil for about three minutes and then shut them off and then wait another five minutes and then they're done. They're heated all the way through. And do you just eat them like that or do you put them on a bun or something? I usually put them on a bun. Okay. So you're... Like six at a time usually. Six at a time. Yeah, yeah. no, they're so good you could just eat them. My doctor doesn't watch this, so it's all right. <laughs> Where are we going? I haven't seen her in a while. Where are we going? Oh. Uh, USDA Choice Steak Sale. A steak Sale. Yes. Which includes two different kinds or types of steaks. Yes. T-bone steaks are ten ninety nine a pound and porterhouse steaks are eleven ninety nine a pound. Gonna give me a steak education? Sure, I would love to. What's a porterhouse? So, so these come in short loins, they're called. Okay. So one side is a T-bone, uh -huh. and then as you get to the other side, there's more and more tenderloin, and that's considered a porterhouse. That's the porterhouse. Correct. Just for my own information, where is a ribeye in all of this? Uh, ribeye is closer to the uh, closer to the, that side of the other meat. side. Yes, closer Piece to the, the sirloin side. Right. Yeah. So it has nothing to do with the porterhouse or the. T bone. Correct. This Correct. Completely so a T bone completely. is a bone in New York strip, is what it is. Uh -huh. And a there porterhouse is a New York strip and tenderloin combination. So I need one of each. Sure. Okay. Sure. Uh, and these. Uh, typically, a porterhouse is big enough to share, as a you know, a couple would come in and buy a porterhouse steak, and then the the, the woman would usually buy would usually eat the tenderloin, and then the uh, male would usually eat the New York strip yeah. side. Or I could eat both sides. That's you could eat both sides, yes. It's good stuff. Oh, right, good definitely. Stuff. Good stuff. Definitely. Depending on how you cook it. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm, my button says... Medium rare for me, please. Me too. Okay. My button says Joe. Yes, uh, Grandma Jacob's Sloppy Joe's. Oh, 549 I saw those in the, in, the, in the... Whatever that thing is called. The, the, <laughs> the refrigerator case? case? Yes. The refrigerator yes. case. Yes, it's you delicious. Just eat it, and uh, I suppose you could just eat it like that if yeah, you want. Yeah, you could eat it cold if you want. You could put it on bread of some kind. If, right. So I like it on a slider bun. You can have now about six of those as well. Yeah, yeah. And so it's all ready to go. Container. It's already prepared. Yeah. Is that about a pound? Yes. About yep, a pound. Those are about one pound containers. Ready yep. to go. Ready to go. Yep. Uh, mine's Next one is fresh, salad. all uh, all American, fresh American potato salad. Fresh American, all American potato salad. The yes. potatoes are from America. All of them. All of them. Yes. <laughs> are they fresh? They are. They yes. Are. Uh, well, they're not anymore. They're cooked. You're saying American potato salad as opposed to German? German potato yeah. Salad? Or we also have uh, a couple weeks ago we had the uh, loaded potato salad. Oh yeah. Which is American? I think so. With yeah. Stuff added loaded. To it. Yeah. Loaded to it. Yeah. We had the calories. Uh, and uh, you have behind the counter you have the small, medium, and large containers. I yes. usually say. Give me the small one, give me the medium. Yep. Is one of those You pounds? usually don't say the large one, right? I don't usually. No. Right, okay. Is that uh, the pound? Which, which one is so the So the small one is about a half pound, the medium one is about a pound, and then the large one is about two pounds. So if I want a pound, I just ask for the... Medium, I, can or I you just can say, say give about me a pound. pound? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll say, all right. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's happened. That's happened. You ready? Yes. You yes. Ready? Sure, let's let's do it. Well, there you go. Brats of the week. Brats of the week. All right. That's enough out of you. Yes. Uh, my button says jalapeno. I've heard that before. Yeah. Uh, next one, we have a jalapeno cheddar brats for four sixty nine a pound. Uh, is that a pork brat? It is a pork brat, yes. And you have put jalapeno peppers in there? See. And the cheddar that is a high temperature melt? Yes. Something like that? Yes. Okay. 
Yes. That sounds really good. It is delicious. That sounds really good. I think those are Uncle Kirk's favorite. I think both of these, because I see the next one, both sound very good. The yes. next one, I, you, I think you have, like. I, the, I think you just like the one. name. What is the name? Sassy Honey Barbecue Pork Brats. My question is, what's the sassy? Is the honey sassy? Is the is the pork sassy or the brat sassy? Sa uh, all of the above. All of it. Yes. All of it. Yes, is sassy. including the people behind the counter. Well, we knew that. Selling those Anyone brats. Who's yes. Been here. Right. Anything. Right. Especially We're looking for they, one of those sassy ones. If you're part time. Yes. Yeah. Right. Sassy. Right. Uh, four sixty nine a pound. Yes, about four per pound. Um, this brats of the week thing that you've got going on does that end? Is it seasonal? Typically, yeah. It's uh, I think it's. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet, but well, it'll probably go through September, maybe. Through September, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I'm sure it'll go through the Unless September because we have a big green egg contest. Correct. So it, has correct. To... it will at least go through September. It might go through October. I'm not sure yet. So it might go through October. Yes. Uh, we'll find out. We'll yes. Find out. Yeah. Stay tuned. Uh, my uh, cheat sheet here says you have a special guest. Yes. And oh, who is it? What is a special guest? Who, what, what is a special who guest? Who it's yeah. Pat. Pat from Melcor. 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 Melcor what do they Foods? sell? Cheese. Oh, I, what do they sell? They sell cheese. and they make their Speaking own of cheese. cheese. Oh, yes. What, do you have a joke? <laughs> what do you call a queue of men waiting for mozzarella? A queue of men? Where's waiting June so she can mozzarella. frown on Yeah, queue she's probably got her ear to the ground. Of What's men that? Waiting, waiting for, for mozzarella. mozzarella. It's a cheesy pickup line. You should know all about that. We will be right back. And we're back with not Luke and Eric, but we're back with Melkor. Yeah, there we go. Luke and Pat. There we go. Luke and Pat show. Pat, thank you very much for coming by. That's right. Thanks for carrying our products. Yes, yes. It's not, I mean, it is very often that we have the owners of the company, but you were going to send somebody else in your place, but you just carved the time out. I carved I feel, it out of my day. I feel like you Actually, watched Actually, we, we talked the, about Vicky. Yes. But uh, I work her pretty hard, and she's not back from her route before 11.30. So. Oh, she's not, huh? Well, yep. maybe tell her to step on it a little bit. You bet. All right, all right. Um, so how long have you been in business? Uh, funny you bring that up. We just celebrated our 23rd year. Wow, uh, 23 it, years? I bought Melkar Foods August 18th, 1995. Okay. And, uh, and then in 2005, I took on Mike and Chris. Okay. Who you know well, right? As partners, and then we moved to Appleton in 2007, over okay. in the old Manderfield. So building. where were you before that? We were up in Green Bay. Okay. It appeared to be exact. Okay. We still maintain that spot. Um, we make our liver pate there. Oh, okay. Okay. So, which so coincidentally is the only product of ours you don't carry. Okay. Yet. But we'll work <laughs> okay. on that at the end of this. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should. I think we should. All right. So you started up there. Uh, you brought it down. So when I explain. Because people see Melcores and they see yep. Appleton, Wisconsin, and on the packaging, and they're like, "Well, where is it in Appleton?" And I say, "You know the old Manor Fields. How long have you lived here? Whatever the old Manor Fields." Oh yeah, that's Arthur Bay. And I said, "Well, Arthur Bay is am I brand correct? Name. Yeah, yeah, Arthur it, Bay. And, it, Melcor Foods is the parent company. Okay. Arthur Bay is another brand that we carry. Okay. So we carry the Melcor brand. We carry the Arthur Bay brand. We also carry another brand, which we don't have here. That's the Bledsoe brand, and the Bledsoe 
brand is a cheese plant that was over on the west side of the state around Stevens Point, Wausau. And that's okay. where we market that brand. Okay, okay. Um, so it depends, you know, the, it's different brands, different stores. Sure. I was, I was explaining, obviously, incorrectly that Arthur Bay was, because you used to be open for mm -hmm. retail location there. Correct. Um, I was explaining that Arthur Bay was your in-house brand and then Melcor was your like commercial brand you're or whatever. Still, you're still technically right. You Am don't I? have, oh, you don't have to commit to an thank error you. there. Uh, put, that will, on the, yep. put that on the we'll notes. We'll call that a neutral. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, um, so, uh, so you took over the business, you bought the business in 1995. Yep. Why did you do that? Why would, why would you, why would you? Uh, <laughs> so my background is in restaurants. Okay. And restaurants, if you've ever worked in one, they're hard work. Not unlike what we both do now, right? But uh, you know, long hours, weekend hours, um, things like that. And uh, you know, the owners of the company that I work for asked us to work a six-day work week. And I thought to myself, you know, if I'm going to work this hard, I should probably work this hard for myself, right? And so I hired a business broker, and he went out and found me a couple things to look at. And uh, Melcor Foods is the one I ended up buying. Okay. So, okay. And at the time I bought it, we just did three products. We did a liver pate and two cheese spreads okay um and those were based on the cheese spreads and liver pate that were done at the zyder z which is a famous supper club back in like lombardi's era okay so, okay all right so that was our start and okay. then in 2005 like i mentioned i took on two partners mike and chris and that's when we got in the cheese curd business and, okay uh, we've been gangbusters in cheese ever since so that that kind of um so fast forward to two years ago what you were just telling me, um, yep. you purchased the cheese yep. factory. We've always uh, bought cheese and marketed it from small farm, small cheese manufacturers. Mm -hmm. And um, we've always wanted to build or get our own plant. And we've always been working to that. And in September, two years ago, we bought Scray Cheese, which is up in De Pere. And that's a four generation cheese plant. Wow. And um, so now we, we actually make our own curds well, that's and distribute awesome. and uh, you know our main forte is to distribute to grocery stores and shops like yours okay um, one of our primary products is fresh cheese curds made today and distributed today okay so. that's that's really really cool so you have you have gone from a cheese marketer and and some some products you know in the past or whatever to mm -hmm. like a full-on cheese maker yeah so you so yeah. you've gone from you know from from this side to this side to, to the right, manufacturing side. From a, side. From a uh, packager or right. processor, as the state calls it, um, and distributor to now we make it, process it, That's and, amazing. and deliver it. Yeah. I'm sure you immerse yourself in the four generations of cheese making and, and, and have taken well, all Well, there's a lot on. of stories. That's, if you've ever, had, I think if you haven't yet, you should interview a cheese maker because they are I think characters. I am right now. Well, technically, you are technically, technically a I'm a cheese maker. Yes, I do I make have, the cheese I would, maybe some nights <laughs> yes but like uh like i see you have um widmer's brick yes i mean you interview a guy like like joe widmer um those guys are just full of amazing stories and, and lots of characters so, yeah i bet and I i've bet. had the privilege of working with a lot of them sure sure yeah. awesome awesome um so where are your products sold i mean you you mentioned all the way out to wausau yeah yep. um probably out to lake michigan i'm assuming yeah if it's far. a grocery store we're pretty much in it um okay. we distribute um, as far north as uh, um, Lakewood, okay. Um, up until recently, we were up that way. Um, but we go west to Stevens Point, Wausau. We go south all over Milwaukee. Um, we're in Madison. Um, you know, we deliver to Pick and Save Chains. Um, Woodman's is a big customer of ours. Sure. Festival Foods is a great customer of ours. Okay. Um, Piggly Wiggly. They probably don't watch, so you don't really have to. Yeah. Suck well, up that's to them right. Too much. Gotta love all. <laughs> gotta love all those guys. Correct. Um, yeah. Because they're very friendly to the small. Right. Small guys. Um, right. And so you know we've got a lot to be thankful to them for. Right. A lot of I mean a lot of larger people, lot larger stores or whatever have gone to the you know the local type products or whatever, and yours yeah. is definitely. The we're local. definitely a local guy. Yes, yep. yes. Everywhere so, we go, we're a local guy. I think, I think a lot of hands on. Yes, I think, I you know, think that's, that's that's where we gain a, a big niche. Is we're we when I deliver, I mean, people are like, "How fresh is it?" And it's like, well, I'm the guy that put it in a bag at midnight. So the only way it's yeah. any fresher is if I drive faster. Right. Right. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so have you developed any new products? I mean, we have a couple of uh, we have a couple of pro your products here. The uh, the classic string cheese, yep. which is my family favorites. Um, the girls love it in their lunches and stuff like that. Um, 
And sometimes we're out of this, so I have to do the go to the whips. Yeah. Um, the whips are excellent. Whips are as really well. popular. The, the yes. sales in those just keep growing. Um, you know, it's cheese curds, string cheese, mozzarella whips. We do a lot of flavors of cheese curds. Yes. Um, we carry as the we dill. Go along. Yep, you carry the dill, dill garlic, the jalapeno. jalapeno. Uh, we have a pepper jack curd now. I think you carry that one. Well, we will. Um, so if that's we don't what, know. <laughs> you, yeah, there we go. I'll yeah. ship it on Friday. Yeah. Um, listen, I hope you heard that, Andreas. Ship it on Friday. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, um, with the um, addition of sprays, now we're getting into different flavored cheddars. Okay. Taco cheddar is a newer one that they've been working on. Uh, pineapple and habanero cheddar. So Ooh, you'll see some some good. additional products coming down the food chain here. Okay. Really soon, like literally, that. literally food chain. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, so th so those are some of the products you're you're working on, um, and we carry a lot of your different products. Um, you do. And you also carry that you deliver here um, from Caprine Supreme. Yeah. Yeah. We also like carry uh, some smaller manufacturers like Todd from Caprine Supreme out in Black Creek, wonderful cheese maker. We carry all his products, um, cut, wrap, and distribute for him a lot. And uh, you carry all of them. Is, and is they there, all sell really well. Is that strictly goat? It's all goat. All, it's of, 100 their, all of their goat. stuff is okay. Yep. okay. And goats, you know, it, it used to have a, a stigma to it, that it tasted like a barn. Um, but Todd has refined his milks to the point where you just don't get it. He makes a Gouda and a feta that are both absolutely top-notch products sure. um, in competition with your regular cow milk. Sure, okay, so, okay. So I've never tasted a barn, so I don't really know what a barn would taste like, but I mean, I can just about imagine. It tastes like it's red. Tastes like red, oh, okay, like red. okay. All right, perfect, perfect. All right, um, do you like apples? Sure, who doesn't? Sure. Uh, there's a couple people that don't My like it. My doctor doesn't like it. He doesn't? No, he eat more than one a day, you know, you keep them away. You keep them away. So they're not a fan <laughs> of apples. All right. Uh, is there anything else that we should know about Melcor Foods? Uh, Before we let you I go. I can't think of anything. No? Just okay. thank you again for okay. carrying yeah. all our products. Yeah, I really thank you appreciate very much, it. Pat. And uh, if you guys haven't been here, you probably should stop in. There's a lot of really unique stuff. Yes, yes. Going to lighten my wallet on the way out the door. All right. <laughs> Sounds great. All right. And we will be right back. And I think we have microphones. I think so. Cheese. 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 That was a, a good cheesy, interview. That was a cheesy interview. Have I ever mentioned that I'm from California? No. No? Well, no. I'm from California. Which part? Southern California. Oh, okay. Los Angeles. And uh, I had, prior to coming to Wisconsin, I had heard of curds. Sure. Because of the nursery rhyme, curds and whey. I knew it was a milk product of some kind. Okay. Uh, but I didn't have them until it was, they are so good. They're they delicious. They are so yes, good. Yes, yes. Now, am I, am I understanding that they deliver them fresh on Fridays? Every Friday, yes. Every Friday, mm -hmm. that were just made. Correct, I, apparently and packaged at midnight. Uh, apparently, packaged yeah. at midnight and driven right to your door. Right. Guess where I'm going on Friday? Here. Yeah, right Probably. here. Probably, yes. right here. Yes. And the whips, I had never never seen a whip. <laughs> you never saw a whip? Uh, before, <laughs> How about a Nene? Uh, before Wisconsin. Nene's, yeah, they're yeah, all over okay. the place. But <laughs> uh, the whips are really good, really, really good. Okay, so, yes, I, I uh, agree. My, my girls and I love that stuff. They're good for, uh, well, they're all, all cheese is good for snacking, isn't it? Yes, yes. Uh, I, sometimes I like to take the, uh, the larger string cheese um, and cut it in little pieces or whatever for an hors d'oeuvre and then put some um, shrimp cocktail on. It's delicious. Shrimp cocktail sauce? Sauce, yes. Oh. 
Smart, smart man, smart man. I'm going to do the special day. Yes, right? let's do that. Uh, today is Wednesday. It is. It is September 13th, and it is Positive Thinking Day. It absolutely is. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. yes. And that's basically your day every day. Yeah, of course, basically. yes. Yeah. So yes, everybody knows that. Think positive. Think right. positive. Uh, it's not on this list, but tomorrow I get a haircut. Oh, okay. Finally in at last. Uh, this is a special day, isn't it? Very special. This Saturday, September 16th, is National Guacamole Day. Take your hat off. <laughs> what is this six, What is this Saturday? It's National Guacamole yes, it Day. Is. National Guacamole Day. And, and the 16th drops. is also Mexico's Independence Day, so I wonder if... Really? That's probably I how thought that was Cinco out. de Mayo. That's not correct, although the beer companies want you to think that. Right. <laughs> Right, and next week well, Tuesday. Guacamole, did you have you ever made guacamole? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. from scratch. Where am I from? Or just like a. Where am I from? Um, Play the tape back. Yes. Yeah, yeah. L.A. It's we eat that every day for breakfast, usually for lunch. You have guacamole, or you have avocado toast. No, you can have that, but if, if you want to do it right, you do guacamole. Oh, okay. Guacamole okay. is is superior. Uh, next week Tuesday. Just your opinion. One of my my opinion just because i'm biased doesn't mean i'm wrong okay next tuesday can i get yes this? you're Go done for it. yes <laughs> one of your favorite days talk like a pirate day Arr. Arr. <laughs> oh wait it's not tuesday yet no but you got to practice you know what a, uh oh here we pirates go. you know here what a go. pirate's favorite letter is tell me it could be one of two r or or c oh c c yeah see i like r yeah r. i like r better Sounds like he's saying yes c R. <laughs> uh, last week we did a giveaway. Yes. We announced the giveaway. Yes. And the prize was going to be two of Legend Larry's sauces, winner's choice, apparently. Yes. And to enter, uh, you had to comment on this video with. Um, Do you remember what it was? No, I don't. But I see the answer. Uh, I think it was. Uh, he gave a lot of recipes. Sure on, did. And Made suggestions on. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, we partook in that on Sunday for the football game. Um, we did? Yes. I don't remember uh, We, that. like me and oh, some you of and my others. family. Yes, oh. <laughs> yes, yes. We, you know. Um, so we had some uh, wings that we that, that Kirk, Uncle Kirk had done. Um, he tried a couple different sauces. They were all delicious. You tried all of them? Or all the sauces that were available, you tried one of each? Yes. Or, oh, you did? Yes, okay. and they were all delicious. Well, apparently we asked people to say what they wanted to do with the sauces. Mm -hmm. And David says, hot garlic meatloaf is sounding good which is something that was talked about. Right. Once the days cool down a bit. They're cooling down a bit. Yeah, it's, it's a bit. It's, it's a bit. Yeah. It's kind of pre-fall right now. It is. And Jenny, who is the winner this week, said the spicy bacon barbecue over brisket sounds delish. Doesn't it, though? The honey barbecue or the sweet Thai chili would be good over meatballs. Uh, I'll have to get in there and try out some of Legend Larry's sauces. Well, good news, Jenny. Come on down. Yeah, try and it for a, free. Pick, pick two. There, pick two. Pick two. Uh, that uh, reminds me of an old joke. Is something you can tell on BSTV? Pick two. Two fingers. Okay. I picked them. In okay, my head. show me which ones it These is. These two. Those take all five. <laughs> Rappi used to give me that one. Yeah, that's a good one. Are you done? <laughs> yeah, I think so. How about a new contest no. for this week? Absolutely, yes. Okay, what are we giving away? Um, some fresh cheese fresh curds. Cheese yes, curds. yes. And how do people so? Enter? So the winner has to come in next Friday. Oh, because they're fresh. Because they're fresh, right? Not not the day after tomorrow. Correct. Because, because we, we will haven't. announce this next Wednesday, and so the winner will be here the following right. Friday. Correct. Correct. Okay. Okay. So, so what's the contest? That'll be the twenty second. The winner has to be here on the twenty second. Yes. Yes. And the contest. How does one enter this? All right. Amazing so, contest. So. <laughs> So I don't know if you noticed, but I have my Packer hat on oh, this you're week. Right. No. Yes, yes. So I had it on last week, and for the Packer game because yeah. of the start of the Packer season and stuff like that. Oh, that's that so. I'm a little superstitious, oh. as I think a lot of you're Packer wearing fans this for and, a reason. And, uh, yes, yes. So, so that if if I wear this, yes. the Packers will win on Sunday again because they're playing again this Sunday. Who are they playing? They're playing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. The other. Team, Tell me the anything. Other team. <laughs> <laughs> They're not playing the Saints. Anyway, They're so playing. the Packers are Doesn't playing. Yes. They're playing. Yes. I, and you're helping I'm... them win by wearing this hat. Correct. Okay, so exactly. you're calling that a superstition. Yes. And you think others might have superstitions as yes. well. Yes, yes. Either sports superstition or just a superstition on... 
whatever else. General purposes? <laughs> yes, yes. So share General your superstitions. Purposes. Yes. Yeah, I never go to Jacob's Meat Market on a 13th because X. Right. Something like that. Right. Okay, and where do they leave this comment? They leave, leave the comment, comment and, and and when it's raining. When it's raining? Yes. <laughs> and the sprinkler, okay. yes, yes. Uh, they leave the comment in, either on Facebook or on YouTube. Okay. Um, Somewhere under, below the video. Yes. Oh, that makes yes. sense. Okay. Yes. It's pretty and, easy to uh, enter. Are we going to announce the winner next Wednesday? Yes. So you think we'll be back here next Wednesday? Uh, let's do it, Speaking yeah. Speaking of that, why yes. don't you give us our outro then? Yes. Uh, thank you for watching this episode <laughs> of BSTV, the 26th episode. We will be back next Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. sharp with another live broadcast. Uh, please like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Um, check us, uh, come visit us at the store <laughs> at the corner of Law and Pacific Street right here in beautiful Appleton, Wisconsin. We are open Monday oh. through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Perfect. That's all the card says. Thank you very much. We will see you next week. All right, thank you. Bye.